Okay, so to make a long story short, I'm a ghost and I'm in love with a boy who now lives in my ex-best friend's house. She's an adult now, so she's moved on. We are still best friends. We were when I died anyway. Turns out I'm deathly allergic to a very unique flower. It was a treat from my parents because they knew how much I loved nature. I wanted to be a botanist and go to school for it. I would read up on books all the time about it. It's ironic though. You know the phrase, killed by kindness? It's pretty much that. Nor do I blame them. Actually, I feel pretty sorry for my father. It was his idea. I passed away in my sleep because uh, I'm so much of a deep sleeper, didn't even wake up in anaphylactic shock, so I kinda suffocated. A little strange, but uh, I'm not mad about it or anything. A life happens and that's how it shall be. My parents sold the house pretty quickly, it was too painful for them to remain here. I caught my mother hugging my pillow from time to time to help with the grieving process. It's a shame, but now they're out of my haunting range. That's why I kept visiting my best friend. Watching her grow up was fun, but now, well, I can't stop coming here because of this, uh, one boy. Only problem is, he's still alive. Can't quite stay together forever. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try though. There's just something about him. How he makes me feel on the inside. <laughs> I get butterflies from the way he talks. His voice makes me feel so calm and I know I shouldn't but... <laughs> When he's in the shower, he likes to do up on little dance and sing. <laughs> I'm not a peeping Tom, though. I'm just curious. <laughs> I think tonight is the night I want to reveal myself to him. I was too shy to do it before, but then his mother teased him about being single. And that she wants grandkids, so bingo. Single. And maybe he wouldn't mind having a visitor in the night. Wait, that sounds wrong. All I have to do is wait for night and for him to go to bed. P please don't be alarmed. Uh, hi, um, I'm harmless. I just noticed you around and wanted to say hi. Why can't I be smooth like other girls? Um, you're not hallucinating or dreaming if that's what you're wondering. It's just, I know you moved in recently and I thought I would introduce myself to you. And hope you've all madly in love with me, please, please, please. Sorry if it gets a little cold. I know when I show myself, I can kind of drop the temperature, so you'll probably want to stay under. <laughs> Are you, um, wanting to talk to me? My name is Amora. It's pretty unique. I got lucky because it was either that or Candace, and, well, you know how it goes these days. <laughs> what about your name? No, oh, well, that's a surprise. A good one, though. It's quite cute. I like it. Or handsome, sorry. I think guys like it more when you say handsome rather than cute because apparently cute is bad, but you're all wrong. <laughs> uh, I can go if I'm making you feel uncomfortable though. 
you just have to say go away out loud or you just have to say my name and I'm summoned just like that. It also works from any distance, so yeah, just thought I should mention that. If you want, I can sit next to you. Is that okay with you? Oh, you're blushing. I didn't expect that. Do you like how I look? I know this is very forthcoming, but, well, I've been watching you for a while. Not to be weird or anything, but you've actually moved into my old best friend's room. This was her house before she moved away. We would play so many games in here, hide and seek, do these big jumps on the bed and even make pillow forts. Those times have come and gone though. You kinda grow up even if you are ethereal. <laughs> ah, he's talking to me. I'm getting so nervous. Um, well, it actually happened over ten years ago. Turns out being allergic to pollen is very real and has some pretty bad consequences, though. Don't worry or feel bad, it just kind of happened. Nothing to feel sorry about. <laughs> I've had a long time to accept it. Oh, I'm not really sure why I'm still around. I've met others like me. I think the best I could come up with is unfinished business. You see, ironically, I wanted to be a botanist when I grew up, make the most beautiful bouquets possible. I could tell you any fact about common plants, such as the juice from bluebell flowers can actually be used as a glue, or that moonflowers bloom only at night. <laughs> closing during the day, thus giving them their adorable names. There's literally so much going on with flowers. There's so much culture as well, like chrysanthemums are associated with funerals in Malta and are considered unlucky. Or that hundreds of years ago, when the army of King Hakon of Norway invaded Scotland, their plans of a stealth attack was foiled by thistles. <laughs> the army commander yelped out in surprise, allowing the Scots to retaliate. Because of this, the wild thistle was named Scotland's national flower. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited. It's my speciality. Oh, you like my voice? Now you're just trying to be extra nice to me. Oh my gosh, does that mean he's attracted to me? Am I playing my cards right? Maybe he'll let me touch him. Um, if you like, I could keep rambling away to you. I know it's your bedtime, so I could soothe you if you like. Maybe stroke your hair? I would have to lie down next to you if that's okay. My arms don't reach very far. <laughs> smooth, Amora, smooth. I'll just get comfy here. Yeah, I can have an effect on physical stuff. See? I can shuffle the bed sheets or touch you like this. I might be a little cold. That's the only thing. If you want me to knock it off, just say, okay? I'm not going to be insulted or anything. Feels nice. Mm. I think you might be a little touch star, but you don't have to be embarrassed like that, okay? Why not think of me as someone on your side that just wants you to be happy? I don't mean to be weird, it's just I've been hanging around and I think you're doing really well, you know? 
I'm no longer living and breathing with the same pressures that society has placed on me. Life is in a race, okay? Don't get in your head because when you do, you forget to look up from time to time and smell the flowers. <laughs> That's how you miss life. Trust me. I know. I miss it a lot. Uh, I'll get rambling for you, okay? Just any old thing that pops into my brain. I should add my memory fade, so... I might not be entirely correct. There's meaning behind flower colors. Flowers can provide an incredibly diverse form of communication. Some plants, including roses, poppies, and lilies, could express a whole wide range of emotions based on their color alone. Take, for instance, all the different meanings attributed to colored carnations. Pink means, I'll never forget you. Red says, my heart aches for you. Purple shows impulsiveness. White was for the sweet and lovely. And yellow expressed romantic rejection. Likewise, a white violet meant innocence. While a purple violet said that the bouquet's giver, their thoughts were occupied with love. A red rose was used to openly express feelings of love, while a red tulip was a confession of love. The lily was interpreted to mean magnificent beauty, and a clover said, think of me. Unsurprisingly, though, the color of the rose plays a huge role. Red roses symbolize love and desire, but roses come in a variety of colors, and each has their own meaning. A white rose, purity, innocence, reverence, a new beginning, a fresh start. Red rose, love, and I love you. Deep, dark, crimson rose meant mourning. A pink rose meant grace, happiness, gentleness. Yellow was jealousy and infidelity. Orange is desires and enthusiasm. Lavender rose is love at first sight. Coral rose, friendship, modesty, and sympathy. I've never gotten a rose from a suitor before, but I love the meaning behind a simple red rose. What about you? Would you find it cute if your significant other got you a rose? I know, it's normally the man who gives them a gift, but forget that. Why don't you both show affection towards one another? I think it's quite biased. The man has to almost woo the girl with gifts. It should be even, or whatever the predetermined norms are. Every relationship is different in every one, so what might work for one might simply destroy another. It reminds me that you can't force love as much as people might wish it. Like the wild mojo realm, it's a pungent, ancient herb a favorite of Aphrodite, who grew it on Mount Olympus. It's been associated with both love and love potions, but also protection from unwanted attention. This combination of opposites relates to Mercury. It's also warming and cooling, sweet and spicy. It was used in the ceremonial crowds of the brides and grooms at weddings, as well as in love and protection spells. It was said a woman looking for love could place Marta around in the bed or anoint herself with it before going to sleep, and Aphrodite would appear in her dreams to reveal the identity of her future husband. Would that not make it so easy, hmm? <laughs> 
You'd stop being lonely forever if you knew who your other half was. I know this is sudden, but do you think you could ever be in a relationship with someone not living? That was far too obvious. You, you would? I'm just surprised. Aren't you not kind of shocked or worried that all of a sudden spirits are a thing and can like haunt you if they choose it? Dang, I guess nothing really does faze you, huh? That makes me less nervous to be around you. So you don't mind this at all? Like, I kinda came here to introduce myself. See if you like me and all that. Well, it's just that you're, you're pretty attractive and, well, I've never had a boyfriend or done anything like kissing or hand-holding. No, uh, I'm... <laughs> stammering. <laughs> Does that mean you kind of like me? Because, uh, if we're on the topic of being honest, I really like you and how you are. Uh, uh, this is weird, I'm just staring at your face directly. <laughs> You want to kiss me? Uh, I can do that, I just have to- <laughs> I'm kissing him. I'm finally having my first kiss. This feels exhilarating. I feel like I could burst. I want to do so much more, but I have to play it cool. That was everything I could have wanted and more. I am... Um, I, I don't mean to cut it short, but I'm not very strong to stay within your realm for long times. I'm gonna have to maybe get going back because I'm a tired baby. When I visit, it takes up energy and it takes a long time to recover. However, like I said, if you want me to come, you can always just summon me just by saying my name, Amora. Um, good night then, my love. Nah, I can't believe it. He was so sweet and cool and like not freaked out at all. Maybe he's had an event with a ghost before. I can't believe he even let me touch him. Playing with his hair, feeling the heat against my hands. I would say to pinch me to check if I wasn't dead, but uh... <laughs> Until next time, lover boy. You'll summon me soon, won't you?